and Sergio Berberino, Research Fellow at Procter Gimble, and I'm also the Vice Chair of Alice, the European Logistic Innovation Platform. My name is uh, Vincent Ejabu, I'm a postdoc at the Technical University of Denmark. My name is Karen Aschberger and I present the Social Lab 17 Joint Research Centre of the European Commission. My name is Eileen Fokkebakker, I'm a sociologist from Leiden University. My name is Richard Randall, uh, I'm a sociologist, I'm based in uh, Switzerland and uh, I work at uh, Webster University uh, Geneva and I'm also a fellow at the Institute for Higher Studies. Hello there, I'm uh, Yannick Corne, I'm a senior researcher of sustainable transport transition here at the University of Žilina in Slovakia. Our project aims to build an intelligent waste bin in order to encourage people to better sort the waste. The specific case for our project was organic waste. Our topic is connected and automated vehicles and the future mobility. Our objectives are to investigate current and future narratives and assumptions of mobility and if they meet societal expectations and concerns. How could Living Labs deliver more comprehensive knowledge to sustainable policy design and to integrate RRI thinking in addressing the policy challenges of connected and automated vehicles. About our lab, it was entitled Giving Future Generations a Voice on Mobility and its purpose was precisely that, to give a, a voice to uh, travelers and users of the transport system that is not usually considered in uh, transport planning consultation processes. In La Alice, we have been working on a roadmap for complete decarbonization of the logistics sector by 2050. The project topic we worked on is about RRI and innovative research projects at the Green Village at TU Delft. What I would like to um, say here is that uh, I think we need to uh, uh, be aware that there are uh, powerful interests out there that really have no interest whatsoever uh, in RRI processes and uh, in fact uh, uh, actively uh, oppose them. The other thing I would uh, uh, like to say here is that I think we need to be attentive and, and sensitive to the possibility of, uh, uh, of it uh, of it appearing that uh, um, RRI uh, processes uh, have been uh, followed when in fact uh, they haven't. Uh, listening to workshops like the one organized by New Horizon opens up the mind to what is the social impact and therefore how to best communicate and engage in the type of transformation that we need to see happen between now and 2050. We have learned that RRI should become an unavoidable part of the research process. This needs to be understood at all hierarchical and organizational levels. It requires openness, readiness and flexibility of the institution, trust in the added value and resources to make RRI practices part of the research process and to recompense active participants.